Well guys, we did it. We finally took a vacation. And I'm not talking about a little four day extended weekend trip. We took a week and a half to visit Andrew's family back in New Hampshire. And with no cell service and very little on the agenda, it was such a great way to force ourselves to chill out, relax, be present, and just enjoy our company. And the cool thing about visiting Andrew's parents is that they have a bed and breakfast. So it's an awesome home away from home. His mom has seriously nailed down the ultimate in guest comfort. I really need to implement this in my own house. Now, no trip to New Hampshire is complete without a trip to Vermont. <laughs> And yes, guys, this is the longest covered bridge in New Hampshire. I think New England, actually. So what's in Vermont? One word, beer. <laughs> so over the river and through the woods is Harpoon Brewery. Andrew and I have to make a stop here every single time we go back home to New Hampshire because, I don't know, it's just our favorite brewery to visit. We can't get it at home. And guys, I gotta be completely honest, all of the beers that we had in New England were very low in bitterness. I don't think I had one that was over 45 IBU, and so it was really refreshing to just not get hops overload. Actually, I had a lot of wheat beers, and I really hope that our West Coast breweries start catching on and creating a little bit more wheat beer selections as well. <laughs> During our travels, I got plenty of time with Mother Nature. It was so nice to see so much green and still be up in the mountains. I just loved every single minute of it. And I mean, check this out. This is a tree that literally grew on top of a rock. How crazy is that? After our hike through the White Mountains, Andrew and I found ourselves in New Hampshire's highest elevation bar. How crazy is it that we just always seem to stumble upon these places? <laughs> so we definitely enjoyed the views and having some local beers on tap there. Now apparently Andrew and I have gained this reputation amongst our family and friends for being great home entertainers. Hmm, wonder where that came from. So it was funny, we were actually home for Father's Day and we asked Andrew's dad what he wanted to do and instead of going out, he asked us if, he, if we would make him one of our meals and we happily obliged because you guys know how much I love eating at home. This is such a great way to connect with friends and family and we just didn't need to go out. It was so perfect being at home. So we just went with our go-to meal for whatever we wanna have a little bit of an up-leveled experience and that was Andrew's famous steak, Brussels sprouts, and I made potatoes. So it was so weird not being in our own kitchen, but oh, Andrew's mom's kitchen is fantastic. And it was really fun cooking, showing them how we do things, and then just sitting down at the dinner table eating together. So guys, just remember, you know, if you're visiting family or if you have people coming to visit you, you don't always have to go out in order to celebrate. I think it was so much more special for us to just have a meal as a family because this is something we never get to do because we only get to see them maybe once or twice a year. So this meant so much more to me than just going out for Father's Day. I'm so glad his dad asked us to do this. Now I do have the instructions for all of these recipes linked below for you, but just remember that whenever you have friends or family over, just go with something that you know how to make and that you love to make already. I think we could have made mac and cheese and it would have been a fantastic time. So you don't have to go all out. We've just become really comfortable with making this meal and that's why we did it. I think if I had tried to do something crazy and new, we would have been a little bit more stressed and it just wouldn't have been worth it. So if you wanna have people over and you wanna have a nice dinner, just remember it doesn't have to be too fancy. Anyway, I'm really glad that we could share a little bit of our New Hampshire vacation with you. Make sure to like this video if you wanna see more like this and hit subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.